The Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL is a federally funded research and development center and NASA field center in La Canada Flintridge, California, United States, though it is often referred to as residing in Pasadena, California, because it has a Pasadena zip code. Founded in the 1930s, the JPL is currently owned by NASA and managed by the nearby California Institute of Technology for NASA. The laboratory's primary function is the construction and operation of planetary robotic spacecraft, though it also conducts Earth orbit and astronomy missions. It is also responsible for operating NASA's Deep Space Network. Among the laboratory's major active projects are the Mars Science Laboratory mission which includes the Curiosity rover, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the Juno spacecraft orbiting Jupiter, the Nustar X-ray Telescope, the SMAP satellite for Earth surface soil moisture monitoring, and the Spitzer Space Telescope. It is also responsible for managing the JPL Small Body Database, and provides physical data and lists of publications for all known small solar system bodies. The JPL Space Flight Operations Facility and 25-foot space simulator are designated National Historic Landmarks. History JPL traces its beginnings to 1936 in the Guggenheim Aeronautical Laboratory at the California Institute of Technology when the first set of rocket experiments were carried out in the Arroyo Seco. Caltech graduate students Frank Molina, Kian Zuazen, Weld Arnold, and Apollo M. O. Smith, along with Jack Parsons and Edward S. Foreman, tested a small, alcohol-fueled motor to gather data for Molina's graduate thesis. Molina's thesis advisor was engineer, aerodynamicist Theodore von Kármán, who eventually arranged for U.S. Army financial support for this GALCIT rocket project. In 1939. In 1941, Molina, Parsons, Foreman, Martin Summerfield, and pilot Homer Bushy demonstrated the first jet assisted takeoff rockets to the Army. In 1943, von Kármán, Molina, Parsons, and Foreman established the Aerojet Corporation to manufacture JATO rockets. The project took on the name Jet Propulsion Laboratory in November 1943, formally becoming an Army facility operated under contract by the university. During JPL's Army years, the laboratory developed two deployed weapon systems the MGM 5 Corporal and MGM 29 Sergeant Intermediate Range Ballistic Missiles. These missiles were the first U.S. ballistic missiles developed at JPL. It also developed a number of other weapons system prototypes, such as the Loki anti-aircraft missile system, and the forerunner of the Aerobee sounding rocket. At various times, it carried out rocket testing at the White Sands Proving Ground, Edwards Air Force Base, and Goldstone, California. In 1954, JPL teamed up with Wernher von Braun's engineers at the Army Ballistic Missile Agency Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama, to propose orbiting a satellite during the International Geophysical Year. The team lost that proposal to Project Vanguard, and instead embarked on a classified project to demonstrate ablative reentry technology using a Jupiter C rocket. They carried out three successful sub-orbital flights in 1956 and 1957. Using a spare Juno I a modified Jupiter C with a fourth stage, the two organizations then launched the United States' first satellite, Explorer 1, on January 31, 1958. JPL was transferred to NASA in December 1958, becoming the agency primary planetary spacecraft center. JPL engineers designed and operated Ranger and Surveyor missions to the Moon that prepared the way for Apollo. 
JPL also led the way in interplanetary exploration with the Mariner missions to Venus, Mars, and Mercury. In 1998, JPL opened the Near Earth Object Program Office for NASA. As of 2013, it has found 95% of asteroids that are a kilometer or more in diameter that cross Earth's orbit. JPL was early to employ female mathematicians. In the 1940s and 1950s, using mechanical calculators, women in an all female computations group performed trajectory calculations. In 1961, JPL hired Dana Eulery as the first female engineer to work alongside male engineers as part of the Ranger and Mariner mission tracking teams. JPL has been recognized four times by the Space Foundation, with the Douglas S. Morrow Public Outreach Award, which is given annually to an individual or organization that has made significant contributions to public awareness of space programs. In 1998, and with the John L. Jack Swigert Jr. Award for Space Exploration on three occasions, in 2009 as part of NASA's Phoenix Mars Lander Team, 2006 and 2005. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Location. When it was founded, JPL's site was immediately west of a rocky flood plain, the Arroyo Seco Riverbed, above the Devil's Gate Dam in the northwestern panhandle of the city of Pasadena. While the first few buildings were constructed in land bought from the city of Pasadena, subsequent buildings were constructed in neighboring unincorporated land that later became part of La Canada Flintridge. Nowadays, most of the 177 acres 72 hectares of the U.S. federal government-owned NASA property that makes up the JPL campus is located in La Canada Flintridge. Despite this, JPL still uses a Pasadena address 4,800 Oak Grove Drive, Pasadena, CA 91109 as its official mailing address. The city of La Canada Flintridge was incorporated in 1976, well after JPL attained international recognition as a Pasadena institution. There has been occasional rivalry between the two cities over the issue of which one should be mentioned in the media as the home of the laboratory. Topic: <laughs> Employees. <laughs> There are approximately 6,000 full-time Caltech employees, and typically a few thousand additional contractors working on any given day. NASA also has a resident office at the facility staffed by federal managers who oversee JPL's activities and work for NASA. There are also some Caltech graduate students, college student interns and co-op students. Topic: Education. The JPL Education Office serves educators and students by providing them with activities, resources, materials, and opportunities tied to NASA missions and science. The mission of its programs is to introduce and further students' interest in pursuing STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics careers. Topic: Internships and Fellowships. JPL offers research, internship, and fellowship opportunities in the summer and throughout the year to high school through postdoctoral and faculty students. In most cases, students must be U.S. citizens or legal permanent residents to apply, although foreign nationals studying at U.S. universities are eligible for limited programs. Interns are sponsored through NASA programs, university partnerships, and JPL mentors for research opportunities at the laboratory in areas including technology, robotics, planetary science, aerospace engineering, and astrophysics. In August 2013, JPL was named one of the 10 most awesome college labs of 2013 
by Popular Science, which noted that about 100 students who intern at the laboratory are considered for permanent jobs at JPL after they graduate. The JPL Education Office also hosts the Planetary Science Summer School (PSSS), an annual week-long workshop for graduate and postdoctoral students. The program involves a one-week team design exercise developing an early mission concept study, working with JPL's advanced projects design team, Team X, and other concurrent engineering teams. <laughs> <laughs> Museum Alliance JPL created the NASA Museum Alliance in 2003 out of a desire to provide museums, planetariums, visitor centers and other kinds of informal educators with exhibit materials, professional development and information related to the then upcoming landings of the Mars rovers Spirit and Opportunity. The Alliance now has more than 500 members, who get access to NASA displays, models, educational workshops and networking opportunities through the program. Staff at educational organizations that meet the Museum Alliance requirements can register to participate online. The Museum Alliance is a subset of the JPL Education Office's Informal Education Group, which also serves after school and summer programs, parents, and other kinds of informal educators. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Educator Resource Center. The NASA, JPL Educator Resource Center, which is moving from its location at the Indian Hill Mall in Pomona, Calif., at the end of 2013, offers resources, materials and free workshops for formal and informal educators covering science, technology, engineering and science topics related to NASA missions and science. Open house The lab had an open house once a year on a Saturday and Sunday in May or June, when the public was invited to tour the facilities and see live demonstrations of JPL science and technology. More limited private tours are also available throughout the year if scheduled well in advance. Thousands of school children from Southern California and elsewhere visit the lab every year. Due to federal spending cuts mandated by budget sequestration, the open house has been previously canceled. JPL Open House for 2014 was October 11 and 12 and 2015 was October 10 and 11. Starting from 2016, JPL replaced the annual open house with Ticket to Explore JPL", which features the same exhibits but requires tickets and advance reservation. Roboticist and Mars rover driver Vandy Verma frequently acts as science communicator at open house type events to encourage children and particularly girls into STEM careers. Other works In addition to its government work, JPL has also assisted the nearby motion picture and television industries, by advising them about scientific accuracy in their productions. Science fiction shows advised by JPL include Babylon 5 and its sequel series, Crusade. JPL also works with the Department of Homeland Security Science and Technology Directorate DHSSTD. JPL and DHSSTD developed a search and rescue tool for first responders called Finder. First responders can use Finder to locate people still alive who are buried in rubble after a disaster or terrorist attack. 
Finder uses microwave radar to detect breathing and pulses. Additionally, JPL is home to the JPL RPIF Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Regional Planetary Image Facility, which is charted as a repository for all robotic spacecraft hard copy data and thus provides a valuable resource to NASA funded science investigators, and an important conduit for distribution of NASA generated materials to local educators in the Los Angeles. Southern California area. Topic <inaudible> Funding JPL is a federally funded research and development center FFRDC managed and operated by Caltech under a contract from NASA. In fiscal year 2012, the laboratory's budget was slightly under $1.5 billion, with the largest share going to Earth science and technology development. <laughs> Peanuts tradition There is a tradition at JPL to eat, "...good luck peanuts." before critical mission events, such as orbital insertions or landings. As the story goes, after the Ranger program had experienced failure after failure during the 1960s, the first successful Ranger mission to impact the Moon occurred after a JPL staff member had decided to pass out peanuts to relieve tension. The staff jokingly decided that the peanuts must have been a good luck charm, and the tradition persisted. Topic. Missions These are some of the missions partially sponsored by JPL Topic. List of directors Theodore von Kármán, 1938–1944 Frank Molina, 1944 to 1946. Louis Dunn, 1946 October 1, 1954. William Hayward Pickering, October 1, 1954 to March 31, 1976. Bruce C. Murray, April 1, 1976 to June 30, 1982. Lou Allen Jr., July 22, 1982 to December 31, 1990. Edward C. Stone, January 1, 1991 to April 30, 2001. Charles Alachi, May 1, 2001 to June 30, 2016. Michael M. Watkins, July 1, 2016 present. Topic. Team X The JPL Advanced Projects Design Team, also known as Team X, is an interdisciplinary team of engineers that utilizes "...concurrent engineering methodologies to complete rapid design, analysis and evaluation of mission concept designs." Topic: Controversies. Topic: Employee background check lawsuit. On February 25, 2005, Homeland Security Presidential Directive 12 was approved by the Secretary of Commerce. This was followed by Federal Information Processing Standards 201, FIPS 201 which specified how the federal government should implement personal identity verification. These specifications led to a need for rebadging to meet the updated requirements. On August 30, 2007, a group of JPL employees filed suit in federal court against NASA, Caltech, and the Department of Commerce, claiming their constitutional rights were being violated by the new, overly invasive background investigations. 
97% of JPL employees were classified at the low risk level and would be subjected to the same clearance procedures as those obtaining moderate, high risk clearance. Under HSPD 12 and FIPS 201, investigators have the right to obtain any information on employees, which includes questioning acquaintances on the status of the employee's mental, emotional, and financial stability. Additionally, if employees depart JPL before the end of the two-year validity of the background check, no investigation ability is terminated, former employees can still be legally monitored. Employees were told that if they did not sign an unlimited waiver of privacy, they would be deemed to have voluntarily resigned. The United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit found the process violated the employees' privacy rights and issued a preliminary injunction. NASA appealed and the U.S. Supreme Court granted certiorari on March 8, 2010. On January 19, 2011, the Supreme Court overturned the Ninth Circuit decision, ruling that the background checks did not violate any constitutional privacy right that the employees may have had. Topic: <coughs> Coppage v Jet Propulsion Laboratory. On March 12, 2012, the Los Angeles Superior Court took opening statements on the case in which former JPL employee David Coppage brought suit against the lab due to workplace discrimination and wrongful termination. In the suit, Coppage alleges that he first lost his team lead status on JPL's Cassini Huygens mission in 2009 and then was fired in 2011 because of his evangelical Christian beliefs and specifically his belief in intelligent design. Conversely, JPL, through the Caltech lawyers representing the laboratory, alleged that Coppage's termination was simply due to budget cuts and his demotion from team lead was because of harassment complaints and from ongoing conflicts with his co-workers. Superior Court Judge Ernest Hiroshiga issued a final ruling in favor of JPL on January 16, 2013. See also Jet Propulsion Laboratory Science Division Mars Rover